Welcome to These Are the Blades of Our Lives, the figure skating show where I talk to you about figure skating like it is drama for our mamas. So, the skating season is underway, the summer competitions have started, and we are starting to see more and more of these programs making their grand debut. And as I watch some of these smaller summer competition, I am really beginning to question what is going on with the music selections. You guys know I really wanted the ladies to follow the 80s theme of the rhythm dance um, this season, but that did not happen. So instead, the ladies got to pick their own music. And here's what I think about some of these selections. So starting with the short program, Star Andrew is going with Alien Superstar by Beyonce. Okay, I get the fact that the team behind Star is trying to create a very pop diva image for her. But honestly, every time I see Star, I just think cute and bubbly. Now, Alien Superstar, literally, the main theme of the song is category bad bitch. I don't really know if this is what I imagine when I see Star. And I feel like with a song like Alien Superstar, you really have to come on that ice like you're going to eat it up like you are Beyonce, like you are Sasha Fierce. Because if you cannot sell it at 100%, the audience is going to tune you out. And if that particular program, if you're having a difficult competition, it just makes it that much harder. So... A part of me really hope that she embraces that, you know, bad bitch part of her and bring us a performance to remember. But I just don't know if this is what I imagine when I think of Star Andrew. Then we had like um, Rion um, Sumuyoshi, Blood in the Water. That is a very heavy, heavy song. For a very light skater. I guess this is a chance that her team is taking to show a more edgier side of her. But I still feel like that that is a very, very heavy song to put on that child. Um, and then we have like um, Moneshiba, Les Yeux Noirs, The Black Eyes or Dark Eyes. Lovely very lovely. I mean, this is this is a very fun and upbeat French song. And I have faith that Mona, um, Mona can pull this off. Um, however, this song does require a lot of energy from start to finish, which I think is no small order for any skater. So I hope she's able to do that. Then we had our lovely little Gia Chen. And Gia is doing fascination. She grew a lot. And at first, I was kind of worried about what would happen with her growth. But because she has good foundation, good basic skating technique, because they taught her a good jump technique, I'm very happy to see that the growth spur is not really affecting her jump technique. So I'm quite happy to see that. Then we have um, Jocelyn, um, Josephine Lee, who's doing I Love Paris. It's a very jazzy number. It's slow tempo. It's mellow. I just hope they don't put a whole bunch of extra in the program. This is not a song that requires a lot of cluttering, so I hope they don't clutter the song. Then you have Nicole Schwartz, who's doing Rain in Your Black Eye. This is a song that everybody and their mama has done at one point in time. However, Nicole is age appropriate for this song. So I am interested to see, you know, what she does bring to this song. Um, then, you know, we have Mao Shimada. Baby Mao is doing Americano. I'm going to assume that she's going to do the Lady Gaga version. She's a little young for this slightly neurotic pace of this song, but I'm willing to give an open mind only because she has such good skating skill and she's very performative that I think 
she may be able to carry this. Maybe able to carry this. Then we have my Miyahara. To love you more, a little Celine Dion. Guys, I love me some Celine. I'm not going to lie. Never. I love me some Celine. So I can see her either going all out or just being flat. But either way, we are going to enjoy a little Celine Dion. And I'm here for that. Um, Ansu Yoon is doing La La Land. More La La Land. Yay, I guess. Can never have too much La La Land, I guess. Um, Rinka Watanabe is doing Avatar The Way of the Water. Rinka is such an interesting skater. I feel like this is a skater that has a point of view. I just don't know if she necessarily owns that point of view yet and is able to skate to that point of view to the best of her ability. Then we have um, Ami Naka. So Ami is doing Baby God Bless You. Again, not really what I would have given to a junior skater, but okay, why, why not? Why not? Why, why not? Yeah, sure. We, we can we can do that. Why not? Um, uh, Hana Yoshida is doing Cuckoo Fun. Honestly, I did not know about this song. I did not know about the existence of this song until I looked it up for this program. I'm all about this song. The beat is so fun. I really want to see what this team decides to do with this song. Then we have um, Ziggy, Z, 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 I, oh my God. I'm going to have to learn how to say this child's name. Um, Zai Ji An, who is doing Femme Fatale. Again, this is her transition season from junior to senior. I don't know if that is the program you give to a skater on their first senior season. But again, this is a skater that has lovely skating skills. Some of the best spins in the women's field right now. She has musicality. She emotes. So maybe this might work, even though I will feel a little uncomfortable the whole time watching it because it's not age appropriate. Then we have the comeback. Wakaba Haguchi. Wakaba Gucci is doing Never Tear Us Apart. I've already seen this short program. And guys, Wakaba is back and she is eating it up. This song fits her personality, her skating, the aggression, the power. And she's giving everything to it. This is a beautifully choreographed program. It's uncluttered. It's light. It highlights all of Wakaba's strength. I'm really looking forward to see how this program grow this season. I missed you so much. Welcome back, Wakaba. And then we have Kimi Rippon doing voila, voila, voila. Yes, yes, voila. Um, I haven't seen the program, so I don't have much to say about it, except that we are probably going to hear that song a lot this season. A lot. And then... Another person doing Baby God Bless You is Kari Sakamoto. <sighs> Kari always starts the season off a little rough. Just a little rough. So I can never quite decide what is going to happen with her program. I, 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 not the song that I... Neither her program songs are songs that I would have given Kari... But this is what she's got, so we're going to have to see what happened. Madison Shrizar decided to go with um, Farukas, a war horse. There's nothing wrong with going with a war horse, especially one of my favorite pieces. I feel like if done right, this could be a fabulous piece for Madeline, who desperately needs a reinvention, a boost. Because her juniors are coming for her all guns blazing. So she does need a little something to keep her in the running for next season. 
Then we have Lindsay Thorngreen, who is doing Windmill of My Mind. This is a very storytelling, melancholy kind of song. I, at first, thought it was a little mature for Lindsay, but she's she's giving me reasons to change my mind because for the longest time, her skating was very junior-ish, but I see a little growth. Like, I... I I've seen little clips here and there because we can't actually see the whole performance. Thank you, Skate America, um, so far. But what I have seen, I'm pleasantly surprised. So I cannot wait. And then finally, Yalen Kim picked Ladies in Lavender. A very pretty piece. But I feel like nothing we haven't seen from Yelin in terms of music. I guess it would have to all depend on what the the choreography brings to the music and what Yelin brings to the choreography and the music. But so far, I'm not going to say there is any particular piece of song that makes me say, yes, I cannot wait to see this program. It's going to be the best program ever. I'm not particularly excited by it any of these songs. Then we make our way to the long program. Um, Hasu Yoon is going with Queen Gambit. Yes, more car crash. This is the soundtrack that just keeps coming back every season, although I don't know why. Um, Rion um, Sumuyoshi is going with en Enchantress, which is a very dark theme. Like, I don't know why they keep giving this very light skater these dark songs and these dark themes. But let's see how she interpreted it. Let's see how it goes. Um, Audrey Shen is doing Skyfall, of course. A very overused skating song, but why not? Star Andrews is going with Being Good Isn't Good Enough. Uh, she's probably going to do the Glee version. I'm not sure this is a good idea to skate to a song with the word being good isn't good enough. I mean, I do love the song, and I feel like if the choreography is on point, this could be a moment, but the theme is just so heavy. And then Wakava for her long program is doing Fix You Paradise. Why, Wakava? Why? I mean, I guess maybe that's where she's at emotionally and she wants to share that through her program. But I just feel like that song is such a mismatch for her particular brand of skating. That's just what I feel. Um, and then um, Mona Shiba is doing The Legends of 1900. Again, nothing unexpected. Very much up, you know, her... Very much what we would expect her to skate to. Jia Chen is doing Not About Angels. Ah, you guys know how I feel about these emo TikTok songs. But again, Jia is such a lovely skater that if you were going to give a skater a little TikTok emo song, Jia would be one of these skaters that you would give that song to because she probably can pull it off. Um, Kari Sakamoto is doing Wild is the Wind and Feeling Good. Fortunately or unfortunately, she's not doing the Nina Simone version of the song. I, I don't think I'm going to love this program. I, I'll be quite honest. I, I've seen it. Uh, again, this is the start of the season. Kari always starts her season rough. So you can't really make a judgment at the start of the season, but I don't like the version of the song. I just, maybe it'll grow on me, but right now it's a no for me. I'm sorry. Um, um, Mai Miyahara is doing Jupiter, I Vow to Thee, My Country. A very my song. It's, it's a very, she's staying in her familiar wheel. Which is not which is not bad because probably what she wants to work on is consistency and being able to make it through the entire season, which unfortunately she wasn't able to do last season. So it's probably more important for her to get through the season than to try something different and experimental. And I commend her for that. Um, 
Baby Mao, Mao Shimada is doing Benedictus. Again, I'm wondering who is making these decisions and why. Because this is a very sophisticated song for a junior skater. But I will say, if you were going to give it to any junior skater, it probably would have to be Shimada because she has the skating skill, the skating vernacular, and the skating depth to pull it off. But I still, I mean, I still think that is a very heavy, heavy song to give to a child. Um, you know, then we have... Amina, uh, um, Amina Kai doing Only Hope. Guys, I'm not going to lie. I love The Walk to Remember. Oh, my God. I love that movie. I've seen it so many times. And I'm really looking forward to hearing it and bringing back some pleasant memory. I hope they do a cute choreography. Nothing heavy. Nothing dramatic. Just youthful and, and in love and summary. Because I do, I did, I did love that movie. I'm not going to lie, I love that movie a lot. Um, Luna Hendrick is doing a combo of Beyonce's Break My Soul and Madonna's Vogue. Um, again, I feel like Luna and her team is really trying to mold her into the sexy pop diva of figure skating. It's not... A bad role to put her in she definitely is a very beautiful young woman so I can see it but again with these popular songs it's a gamble because if you can bring it a hundred percent then the audience will get hyped up and they will get behind you but if you fail and you do not deliver and you have this very popular hype upbeat song playing and you're only going at 10 percent then it's it could be it could be a very crash and burn situation um then the child whose name i will put every effort into pronouncing and if anybody knows how to pronounce it please help me zai zying n zion 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 Yi N, Zion Yi N. She is going to do Curse of the Golden Flower. I don't know if you guys have seen this movie, but this was a visually stunning movie. It well, first it was a complex, you know, um, power royal family. It, it was just a very complex movie, but it just was visually beautiful. It was just visually so beautiful, and the soundtrack was amazing. So I cannot wait to see what they do with this wonderful piece of music. Um, our Rika Kihara is staying true to Titanic. Yay, Marceline. Listen, there's the more Celine we have, the better. Hopefully, you know, this season we'll see her, you know, bring back more of her jumps we'll see her at at a better place she's healing slowly they're taking the time to complete the progress so i cannot wait to see what she does with this program when she's a little better then we have kimmy ripon doing freya i'm not really familiar with this piece so i'm actually looking forward to some new music lindsay thorn green just when i was like yes we're going down the right path she hit me in the jugular with Twilight. Yes, like we have not had enough Twilight in figure skating. Here's one more for you. Bella and Edward, an everlasting gift to figure skating. Yay. Um, and then Yaelin Kim is giving us some Je suis malade. Complètement malade. Okay. <laughs> I will be honest, I was not expecting this from Yelin Kim. This is a very emotional song, while Yelin is a very reserved skater. I am happy to see her try something that's out of her comfort zone. Now, will she be able to deliver it? That is the question. But I'm really looking forward to Yelin this season. Honestly, I have mixed feelings about the short and the long program music by most of these um, women. There's not one single piece where I'm like, wow, 
I cannot wait to see the program and choreography to this. Most of them, it's either songs that we've heard a thousand times in figure skating or songs that I just could not imagine someone deciding to skate to. But this is some of the songs for the women this season and my thought on it. You guys let me know in the comment what you guys think.